we are back it's been a little bit uh we've been away we've got some things uh, a collection of things today from uh canada when we stopped off at uh, victoria british columbia canada! on our vacation so i have two things that i picked out at the little store there in victoria british columbia next to the port um we have um something from germany we have a couple items from a convenience store in seattle and then two sketchy little liquor bottles i we neither one of us remember where we got them so we're gonna start right off with some uh jacquemins maple popcorn i'm super excited i like maple it's made with pure contains pure maple syrup pure so maple syrup it's so canadian take, take that one that one looks like it has a lot on it all right okay. ready mm -hmm. cheers so canadian looks like caramel corn but mapley mm -hmm. that's very tasty mm. mapley caramel corn Maple can't go caramel. wrong. No, you can't go can't wrong. Can't go wrong. It was very maple -y. Good stuff. Yeah. It's like eating oatmeal. Mm. Okay. Next one. I actually have three of these candy bars that I got uh I got from work. And they came from some um some guys in Germany. Okay. The Germans brought them over for us. They gave everybody candy bars. This is one of three that I have. This one is Alpen milk. And uh, I think it's made with milk harvested from like Cows that are grazed Magic in the cows. cows that are grazed in the mountains. Magical German cows. So uh, that's a thing. Um, yeah, that's a it's scoot. just it's just stop it. It's just milk chocolate. So they're in little squares. So we're gonna each take a little square. Uh, okay. I'm not really just a milk chocolate person. It's not my thing. I'm gonna do this first. So that it's not milk mm -hmm. chocolate and maple. All right. All right, ready? Cheers. Let me see if it's any better or worse i mean it tastes like really good milk chocolate mm -hmm. i'm not a milk chocolate person but it's creamy milk chocolate it's pretty good mm -hmm. those cows are magical it's not it's definitely not a like cheap easter candy milk chocolate this is a good milk chocolate maybe happy cows live in the alps mm -hmm. i don't know mm. That's a lot of just milk chocolate. Put some peanuts in there. I'd be happy, but just we chocolate. Gotta, we got to get to the bad stuff. No, this one's not bad either. Okay. So Famous Amos are not like a unique item, right? I've had Famous Amos out of a vending machine many times. Famous Amos make chocolate chip cookies. However, this in Seattle at a um, convenience store around the corner from our hotel where we stayed the night before our cruise, they had uh, Famous Amos Philippine coconut, which I have never seen. And I do love coconut it has a uh, white chocolate chips um i like coconut i like famous famous cookies i have, i can take white chocolate chips or leave them but you know they're not they're not terrible they look like little chocolate cookies instead of normal chocolate chip cookies okay they smell very coconutty very coconutty, very mm -hmm. coconutty and i love coconut mm. these are good mm-hmm 10 out of 10 would recommend. Mm -hmm. These are very tasty. I like these probably five times more than these standard Famous Amos chocolate chip cookies. I could just sit down with a big glass of milk and eat this whole little mm -hmm. bag. Those are good. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. delicious. You know what's not going to be good? The next item. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's true. We're moving on to the bad stuff now. Well, one bad thing. We're going to try to do bad, good, bad, good. Okay. First bad item, sketchy, tiny alcohol. This one is called Howlerhead. And let's see, Howlerhead is Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey with natural banana flavor. Mm. Natural banana flavor. But bourbon whiskey, we do not like the we whiskeys. Do not like whiskey. Although... I do like me some Fireball. She does. And I do like peanut butter whiskey. I don't know that real whiskey so, drinkers consider Fireball know, real whiskey. I know, I know. I'm not a real whiskey drinker. I would never no. claim to be. And this is banana, which is probably going to be disgusting. So, yeah. Okay. I do not. It smells very banana. Oh, God. All right. Who goes first? You. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um. <laughs> I, 
Oh! 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 Okay. It's been Annie, but it's snow. Okay. It was a whole lot of banana, 99 bananas punch into the face as soon as you start drinking. Immediately the burn and that of of the whiskey just kind of like okay that is not a do-over no we did finish the bottle so yay i know we're no quitters Shh, maya okay okay. <coughs> okay i ooh. all right moving on to something better for sure all right this is another <laughs> item that i picked up at the victoria british columbia canada um little store I also got her an adorable little um, shot glass um, that looks like a moose. That I will not be drinking banana whiskey from. No. Um, and this is the Black Forest um, cake, which is, you can see it's written, written in uh, French and um, uh, The English. language we speak, English, that yeah. one? <laughs> yes, our language. Um, Aero truffle. So it looks really delicious. It's got like, I don't know, it's Black Forest. So it's going to have like cake and cherry, cherry and cream. Um, it's in like a little tinfoil. It is made by Nestle, but it's not something I have ever seen here in the United States. So we can open this up and let's look at the back side. So right away, you can see that it's in and you can see the cake and whatnot in there. And it's got little like little bubble bumps. So we're going to break off um, a bubble bump. We're going to we're going to bubble bump. We're, we're each getting two bubble bumps because that's take, that's just how it works. All right, I'm going to take one bubble bump. One bubble. All bump. right. You might want to. OK, so. You might not be able to see, but you can see right there at the top, there's like a cherry filling at the top. So cheers. Cheers. One bubble bump. Mmm. It's like a maraschino cherry candy bar. It has um it's got dark chocolate, I think. It has a dark it has a chocolate covered cherry kind of mm -hmm. um flavor maraschino to it. Maraschino cherry candy bar. It was really good. If you like cherry and dark chocolate and cake, that's pretty delicious. I might, I might have some of that some other time. All right, now we move on to savory. Mm, okay. Savory comes next. There's only two more things. And this one, we'll do another taste test with the other stuff. But the question is, do we do food savory, which is also from the Seattle convenience store, the Tusty Empanada Limon, okay? Um, and then the other item we have is pickle shot dill pickle vodka, which may be good in Bloody Marys, probably not so good on its own. So do we take, follow with this or do we start with this? Uh, uh, let's do that first. Really? I don't we know. We don't have anything to chase this with. We can chase it with some maple popcorn. Okay, fine. Do the vodka first. Dill pickle vodka first. You don't want to chase dill pickle vodka with maple popcorn? No, I do not. That's or why... my sweet wine that I have sitting here. That would be foul. Oh. Do I go first on this one too? I can go first. Great in cocktails. Even better as a shot. Serve chilled. Is it like pickle juice? It smells very pickly. It does. Very but it's pickly. vodka. And I love pickle. I'm not sure how this is going to go after like cherry, I'll... but okay. Maybe another wash. I do love pickles and I like pickle juice. I have been known to drink a lot of pickle juice. All right. Salty because pickle juice. Honestly, it tastes just like pickle it juice. It tastes like pickle juice. I'm not even getting that bad no, vodka back no, that, in. No, that's not bad at all. That's delicious. That's really good. <laughs> that is 30 proof. Mm. So that's 30 proof the um ah uh, that's why the howler was 80 proof Ugh. yep okay that explains a lot this was pretty tasty was it good. was not particularly strong it was only 15 percent alcohol um that was really good though that we good. could have drank on it that's like that's good sipple sipple sipping pickle sipple sipping pickle we're sipple? also drinking wine and we've been okay so here here are the um the empanada the limon Lemon empanadas. Who Where makes? did you get these? Uh, I got this at the Seattle. Is that like a gas convenience station? store? Okay. Okay. Um, I think. If you listen carefully, you can hear our dog snoring. 
I don't know if you can, I don't know if it'll pick it up on the sound, on the microphone, but she is snoring. She is snoring pretty loud. Also, She went not... for a two and a half mile walk today. Okay, so cheers. It's our last item in this test. It tastes like a fucking Dorito. No, they got the lime. Right. These are good, and they're not cheesy. This they're more a like lime a lime Dorito. They're almost like a um, mm. like a corn chip. It's like yeah. So I was gonna say they have those lime tortilla chips. They're like a limey cor yeah, corn chip. Yeah, lime tortilla chips. Mm -hmm. They're pretty good. They'd be good with salsa. I would eat these. I'd eat the shit out of these. I like salsa. Shit. Ten out of ten with salsa. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think that concludes our taste test. I think everything we had today. I mean, I could take or leave this Alpen milk, honestly, melt it down and turn it into something better. I could take or leave the maraschino cherry shit. I love dark chocolate and cherry, though. Mm. So, one of, my, one of my favorite ice everything creams. Everything else other than the banana whiskey, which was disgusting. Hell no. Um, I could take, even including the dill pickle vodka, which is delicious. That dill pickle vodka was delicious, especially if you like dill pickles. Mm -hmm. So, I think uh, it was almost all a thumbs up today, which we had it, we suspected. But honestly, I thought the vodka, I, I thought the two liquors. on there. I thought the two liquors would be the worst, um, and they were not. They were they were delightful. Yeah. Other than uh, no, the, the howler was one, awful. Sorry. One out of two. One, one out of two ain't bad. Fifty percent of the liquors. Fifty percent of the liquors were 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 excellent. All right, uh, that is all for this recording. We will try another handful of items. Probably uh, we'll have a candy bar or chocolate taste off between the ones that came from Canada and the other one that came from Germany. I think we have some really nasty liquor in there too. We do? Yeah. Oh, okay. I well, think we bought those in Saga Talk. Great. Okay. All right. Well, um, we will sign off this one. And until the next video, enjoy, uh, taste new things, uh, food, food, what is it? A, a cult, uh, food a culinary culinary adventure, adventure. it's yes. a culinary adventure so we are culinary adventurists yes um yeah and you should be too see ya <laughs>